I said we weren't going to do grammar pedantry stuff tonight, and we're not. However, this is a thing that people really get worried about, okay? So, if you're talking about more than one of something, if you've added an S on the end, because there's more than one of something, you're indicating a plural, you don't need an apostrophe. If it is, um, if you are saying um, possession, so something that belongs to somebody, so you put an S on there for that, you know, Jordan's shirt is blue, then it's apostrophe S, okay? Um, if you are missing out the letter I, as in is, as in David's sitting over here, that does need an apostrophe because you're missing something out, but you don't put it on for plurals. Now, most people kind of get that, and this isn't really an apostrophes lesson, but what I want to do is pick on examples that people who know that rule anyway get wrong. And it's is hard because it's is the um, it's is the uh, exception that proves it, that proves the rule, if you like. Whereas on it's something that belongs to it, you know, the sun has got its hat on. Is it his hat on? Anyway, the sun has got his its hat on. Uh, it doesn't take an apostrophe. It doesn't take an apostrophe unless it is it is. No, no apostrophe possession is it in it. That's, uh, that's the exception, which is annoying. It's the English language, it's full of annoying exceptions. Now here's the one that every, not everyone gets wrong, but nine times out of 10, when you see it wrong, it will be this. When you've got acronyms, people stick an S, think sticking an S on the end looks weird. And it does, it just looks weird. And so you think, well, it must have an apostrophe because GCSEs, GCSE is a thing. So you stick an S on the end, it looks odd. You know, uh, TV, it's just the same with, with abbreviations. You know, you see, um, talk about the green grocer's apostrophe, but collies, you know, as in short for cauliflower. You know, collies, it, it just looks like collis. It looks like you should pronounce it differently. And so they stick an S on it because it's not collis, it's collies. But it's wrong. You don't actually need an apostrophe there or there. Um, unless you're saying, the TV's on or the TV's screen is marvelous. That's fine. Saying there are lots of TVs in this shop, you don't need it. I think we have, do we have one more example? Oh yes, we have. <laughs> Just as a, as, as a point of interest. Um, uh, okay, two things about Shaky. Sorry, that's, an, that, that's a really poor thing for people that are really old like me. Um, uh, yeah, obviously here you've got the apostrophe in because it's an abbreviation, so it's not shaking Stevens. I wonder if that is actually on his driving license. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> the apostrophe, but that's how shaking Stevens spells it. Um, however, the thing that's really interesting is what about something that belongs to shaking Stevens? How do we do the apostrophe S on there? Okay, for example, Shaking Stevens game for the ZX Spectrum. <laughs> this is actually a thing? <laughs> or, or, or was it an album track or a B-side? It, it was like, like at the end of an album. At the end of an album, that, I don't know if any of you remember Sinclair Spectrums, but you had a tape that, that went ee, ee, and that's how they loaded. It was, you know, like played sounds through a tape recorder. And if you recorded onto tape this track on the end of one of Shaky's albums, you had a little game, which is really random. Now, the thing that people ask is, is it Shaking Stevens game? Yes, S then apostrophe, as you would do with a, a thing that's plural, or is it Shaking Stevens's game? Where it's Shaking Stevens, S apostrophe S. And the answer is, if you look at the, uh, the usage guides, the major magazines of the world, the answer is there is no answer. Um, it's whatever sounds right. So say it out loud. If you would generally say shaking Stevens' game, go with that. If you would generally say shaking Stevens's game, then it's S apostrophe S. It's, it, it's the one that, that when you talk about it, sounds right. 
You know, and most of the time, it's fairly obvious. Hi, thanks for watching the video. If you'd like to see another one, it's right here. Alternatively, if you want something to read, blog's over there. Hi, this is Shaky. If you've got a Sinclair Spectrum 48K computer, why don't you try my game? The program follows shortly. If you haven't, please fast forward to the end of the tape so that you can listen to the album again.